hello everybody y'all know it's me it's Avery Sunshine and, and, and you probably haven't gotten a note from me in ages but I, I'm, I'm compelled tonight interesting, interestingly enough on this rainy night in Atlanta to um, to talk to you send you a little something because I was talking to my buddy Lettucey today and um, just talking about doing things and getting stuff done and and uh, you know one of the things that my partner Dana and I talk about is, is you know, kind of doing the thing that Oprah does on a different, in a different kind of way, but, you know, picking up the baton and, and doing something, and uh, I figured, why not try something tonight? And this is what Led and I talked about. She said, why, why wait? Do whatever it is you're going to do it now. Go ahead and do it now. And I thought about, why not? Let's do it. So, one of the things I wanted to talk about was um, how, how, how when you think you're blessing somebody else, that somebody else is really blessing you. Well, we were uh, had the esteemed opportunity to to sing at the historic Apollo Theater a couple of weeks ago. And um, before I went on, I met this nice man in the in the elevator. And I didn't think I was doing much, but I said hello to him and I asked him how he liked his job and he he was kind of quiet and he responded. He said, I really, really like my job. I didn't think anything more of it. Well, I got an email from him, and I just got to read this to you. He says, hello, Miss Avery. Thank you for shining your light on the elevator last night at the Apollo Theater. Most people usually don't say very much riding the elevator, but you took the time to speak to me and show genuine interest in talking. I've worked the elevator many times when, when Stacy has escorted people to and from their sets, yet you were the first performer to come across as a real person. And I thank you for that. Your joy brought genuine warmth, personality, and significance to a sometimes seemingly solitary assignment. I regret not being able to see your show nor being able to continue our conversation as I needed to remain on post to serve our many patrons who came to see you and support your show. Nonetheless, I remain grateful for talking to someone who is a star in the truest sense, someone whose warmth of personality and brightness of gifts draws the attention of many with an encouragement for them to shine in their own right, rejoicing in the light. Indeed, you are a true shining star, Miss Avery Sunshine. He says, God's blessings of grace, peace, and joy be abundantly yours today in every way. He says, whenever you're in New York again, please feel free as your schedule permits to reach out. You are a gifted conversationalist. Thank you very much. And uh, he says, hope to meet you again. I, you know, I I refrain from reading things like that, but I, the, the more little notes like this that we get, I, I feel like God is telling me something. Not not that I'm, not so much that I'm blessing people, but they, I'm blessed when I receive things like this, and it lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. And I, I say to you, whatever it is that you want to do, I go ahead and do it. Uh, I don't know, I'm just compelled to, I'm so thankful that I'm, I'm blessed, and uh, I, I hope that that blessed you, and thank you to everyone who's ever reached out, who's ever listened to, to some music, who, who sends me a message on Facebook, who tells somebody about the music, who, who, who says thank you for, for, for reaching, whatever it is, thank you so much, for when, when you think I'm, when, when you think you're getting something from me, you are really putting something into my life and uh, I thank you so much and I hope you have an amazing holiday and look forward to some more of these little uh, I guess I don't know what you would call them yet but you'll find out shortly but but keep shining everybody and as we say goodbye I'd like to say the Lord